I had a brief when I, I went to a military academy, I went to the Air Force Academy for college. And there was a brief time when I was at the academy where I thought maybe I'd want to be an intelligence officer. But the Air Force is not the Air Force is the military. So they decide where you go. And to a certain extent, you start to believe that maybe they know you better than you know yourself. So when the Air Force decided that I was not going to be an intelligence officer, I kind of saw that as a, a hint that maybe I shouldn't do that kind of thing. So I was really surprised when, you know, six years later, CIA tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, you might actually be a very good fit for clandestine intelligence or what some people call covert intelligence. Uh, and that's where it went from there. There's a whole series of interviews. It's not like a one time interview. There's like a the first round of interviews is an interview typical to a normal job search. But then there's a second and a third and a fourth round of interviews. Uh, one of those is nothing but psychological tests and intelligence tests. Another one of those is scenario tests and, uh, and you know, briefings or and interviews by a board. So by the time they actually say yes to hiring you, they know exactly where they want to put you. So you don't really find out what they're thinking of you to do until much later in the process. Are you allowed to talk about the type of things that you do or, or did in the CIA or any interesting stories that kind of highlight what type of job you had? Yeah, there's uh, we have a lifetime secrecy agreement that we sign. And according to that secrecy agreement, our personal operational histories, meaning the operations that we did, the sources that we used, uh, the technology that we applied, all of those things remain classified until we get approval from CIA to have those things declassified and we can share them publicly. So when it comes to my specific background, I'm very, very limited, which is why my company is focused on taking non-specific uh, skills and tactics and tools that the CIA uses for all operations. That's the big benefit about being able to talk about my, my background at CIA. It's not about me and the secrets I stole. It's really about what the tools and techniques and tactics are that all CIA officers use to optimize mind, body, and health. 